guys? Mike Gross here, RockingGuitarsons.com and YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarsons1. I'm stooping because I didn't set my camera right. But that'll be alright. You can see my guitar and my fingers here. That's Death Cap for Cutie. With your bruise for one of my subscribers, Columbia Nut. Cool song, man. A lot of effects. Got a phaser going on it, some reverb chorus, a little bit of delay. And it's a big stretch chord, man. And there's also another guitar that's doing harmonized chords with this. It's kind of a challenge chord, man. It's not a beginner thing here. Go, uh, here's what we need. Pinky 11A, third finger 9D. That, that in itself is tricky. And then you need, actually a better way to set it up would probably be first finger 7B, middle finger 8G, third finger 9D, and then set that pinky over on 11A. Strum A, D, and G together. Then hit the B open. Or not open, the 7th fret. Just pick the B, because that's ready to go. And then hit the high E open. And then do that again. And then strum the A, D, and G again. Hit the high E. And then the low E. And then the second time, we're just gonna, we're gonna repeat everything, but change the last note. It'll go. You'll go to the 7th fret on the low E with your first finger. Yeah, but don't lift these up, and that's the thing, these notes are ringing together. It's tricky, man. You may need to, um, you know, one thing, um, one pointer I want to give you is stick your thumb low on the neck so you have room to get that stretch. If your thumb's up here, it's going to restrict you. Okay, and then uh, also where you place the guitar on your leg, that stuff's important too. If you watch a classical guitar player, you won't see the guitar on, on this leg. You'll see it on this one. It helps for chord stretches and stuff. All right, guys. So... That's it for this one, and believe me, this one will keep you busy. It's a challenge. Death Cab for Cutie with uh, your bruise. Thanks for the request, dude. I needed some Death Cab on here, now we got it. Oh, I didn't tell you the tuning. It's flat, I think. No, it's standard. Tune standard for this. Having the effects helps, phasers, courses, and that, but it's not necessary. What's important is that you're playing it right, and you're hearing your notes clearly. Um, I'm Mike Gross, RockingGuitarsons.com is my website, coming soon, guys, the end of 2012. It's $25 a month to become a premium member. Close-up zooms on the hands, it's slow-moving, tons of tunings. It's really a cool um, teaching site. So uh, I know a lot of you guys are waiting for that. And be patient, it's coming. I have a DVD called, um, it's my first one, it's the uh, Ultimate Beginner's Guide. It's over two hours of lessons and tunings and picking patterns and chords and scales. It's really cool. Um, and that is $20 plus shipping. I have uh, several of you guys that have had me put your name down to... It's pretty much ready. I can't... I'm thinking October 1st because we got to finish up the tab book on it and we're really close on that. But um, if you want to pre-order it, that's cool. Um, October they'll be getting sent out. And youtube.com slash rockingguitarlessons1 is my YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe guys. Once you've done that, you can send me your favorite song riffs and requests and pieces and I'll get them to you accurately. And that's the thing I'm, I'm going for the, the way the bands are actually playing these songs when I'm teaching them. Um, if you have questions, I'll leave it in the comment section of this lesson or whatever other lesson you're struggling on. And comment anyways, let me know how your playing's coming along. I will talk to you guys soon. Spread the word about me if you don't mind. Mike Gross, my website, my DVD, this channel, all that fun stuff. And uh, like I said, think about hand positioning when you're doing this stuff, okay? Because it really will help. Talk to you later.